Okay. Okay, so now um, this one is to rank these acids from uh, weakest to strongest. Uh, they're all carboxylic acids. Um, so <clears throat> our, I'm just gonna run, walk, uh, go through uh, the four acids that are that are shown here. It's a little cut off at the bottom, um, but it's not too big a deal. So first of all, we've got uh, carbon, carbon. Oops. Um, H and so the acidity is going to depend on how readily the, the acidity in all cases is going to be how readily we can break this bond and yield this H plus. Um, <clears throat> so how well how readily that can be done is always going to be determined by um, by how weak the bond is. So we want this bond to be weak. And that will make it a strong acid. And the weaker the bond, the stronger the acid. Okay. Um, so in this case, um, these CH3s on the end are actually with electron donating groups meaning they're going to donate electron density this way uh, or along the molecule, meaning uh, we're actually going to uh, strengthen the bond. So this is likely uh, our weakest acid unless there's uh, something with more electron donating groups. Uh, so now we've got um, CH3, C, OOH. Um, this is kind of our, our our neutral carboxylic acid, or our not our neutral. I shouldn't say that. Um, this is our um, our basic. Uh, I, I guess I shouldn't use basic either. Our standard uh, carboxylic acid. So this is kind of our our, our comparison ground. Um, so that one, uh, I'm not going to make any comments necessarily. So this is kind of what we're going to compare everything to. Um, so we've got bromine three C uh, C O O H. Now the bromines are electron withdrawing groups. So now these are going to pull electron density away, and they, these are actually now going to start weakening. And um, their electron withdrawing ability is uh, directly correlated with their electron affinity. So uh, if we compare this now to our last molecule, which is CF3, then this is now the same. It's also going to draw electron density away and weaken that bond, um, but uh, fluorine is greater than bromine and so this one is going to be the stronger acid um, this one here is going to be the weaker acid as we said and uh, bromine is going to be uh, stronger than our, our kind of our standard acid our standard carboxylic acid and so now we have our ranking here so it's going to be um, CH33CCOOH uh, is less than our CH3COOH which is going to be less than um, B I'll just try to emulate now one of the answers so we can compare it. CBR3COOH, which is going to be less than our CF3COOH. And if we look, um, that's just answer A. So it's, it's the top answer. So that looks good. Um, okay, so 
There's our general form for our carboxylic acids. And the increase in acid strength is going to be whether we can... Uh, so another way of phrasing what I said is whether or not the conjugate base is, um, is stabilized or how well it can take the, the negative charge. So essentially the same thing. So either how weak the bond is to the hydrogen or, um, but the weakness of the hydrogen bond is directly proportional to how, uh, how well the, the conjugate base can, um, can stabilize the, the negative charge. Um, so in the end, it's, it comes across the same. So um, whether it stabilizes the negative charge or whether you have, or the strength of your electron withdrawing groups, um, the methyl group, um, the acid strength will be lower because uh, there are electron donating groups. And with halogens, you're going to get a stronger acid strength. Um, so uh, with those in mind, we can say the correct answer is A. So that's, that was good.